Hey everybody, welcome to Cross Kids Alito Home Edition. Today we open up egg number six. So hopefully you've had a great day with your family and you've enjoyed Palm Sunday and hopefully you've enjoyed having the Lord's Supper at home. I know that was probably was different for you and so I hope your family, uh, you guys were able to really um, enjoy doing that together and spending that, that time together, taking the bread and the juice uh, together as a family, just remembering what Jesus has done for us on the cross. And also, hopefully you guys, I still have mine on, uh, my bracelet, uh, which symbolizes the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. And so hopefully you've had time to make one of these bracelets, or you have something that reminds you, just so that throughout the day, throughout the next couple of days, that you are reminded what Jesus has done for us, uh, on, on the cross. And so to, let's go ahead and open up egg number six. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. This right here is the crown of thorns. And, um, I actually made this from a rose bush so you can actually see the thorns that are on this. And today we're going to kind of talk about this. And again, like we talked about yesterday, some of the things that we're talking about, really are don't make us very happy matter of fact uh, they make us really really sad that Jesus had to suffer like he did and it just proves the fact that he absolutely loves us so much the sacrifice that he took for us uh, by by suffering so right now I, I kind of want to read to you in Matthew 27 and this is a really good description of kind of what's going on after Jesus was arrested and then he was uh, flogged and whipped and so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this I'm in Matthew chapter 27 verse 27 and so this is when the soldiers mock Jesus and so you remember when somebody mocks somebody they're just making fun of him so the soldiers were making fun of Jesus and everybody that was around <clears throat> now some of the governor's soldiers took Jesus into their headquarters and called out the entire regiment. They stripped him and they put a scarlet robe on him. They wove thorn branches into a crown and they put this on his head and they placed a reed stick in his hand as a pretend scepter. And remember all this time they were making fun of him and they were just saying, oh, you call yourself, you know, the king of the Jews. And so then they knelt before him and they mocked him and they taunted him and they joked about it and they said, Hail, King of the Jews. And the Bible says in verse uh, 30, they spit on him and then they grabbed the stick and then they struck him on the head with it. When they were finally tired of mocking him, they took off his robe and put his clothes on again and they led him away to be crucified. And so, wow, there's a lot in there. And so, Probably the most important thing that, that we need to talk about, and we talked about this yesterday, is how much suffering Jesus went through even before he was placed on the cross and how, how they made fun of him and ridiculed him and just they said jokes about him. And so we just need to remember that Jesus loved us so much that he went through an incredible amount of pain for us. And so, matter of fact, this crown of thorns represents that. Also, the whip that we talked about yesterday represents that as well. And I'm not sure if y'all really realize they they put a you know a stick in his hand and said, "Oh, you know, hold this as your scepter and pretend that you're the king." And then they took it away from him and beat him with that. So Jesus went through an incredible amount of pain and suffering for us. And so this morning, if you took the Lord's Supper and you held whatever that was, that cracker or the piece of bread or the tortilla, whatever it was, hopefully you were able to picture in your mind just the amount of suffering that Jesus went through for you and for me. And so again, it's not a very pretty picture whatsoever. It's actually very sad, but please keep in mind that Jesus knew exactly what he was doing and he did that and he obeyed God because he loved us so much and he knew that it was going to have a happy ending, a very good ending to, to this story that Jesus rose from the dead. So 
Um, thank you all for tuning in today and watching this. And I just, I'm grateful that you're able to enjoy your family and to have fun and enjoy the things, but to remember to pause throughout the days ahead and to say, Jesus, thank you so much for what you've done on the cross for me. I love you guys and thanks for being here.